What's up, what's up, what's up, you guys? It is me, where it is she, where it is Viva, it is Scorpion Reds Tarot. I am back at it again. I am back, back, back at it again, my dears. We are here to find out what the inner personal guidance that you would be telling to yourself, what your inner guidance to yourself would be. I have no idea what sign we're going to get into today. We're going to do um, a astro dice shuffle to see which sign we're going to be reading for today. So focus your energy. Let's see if your sign comes out. All right. All right. We have the sign of, what is this? Capricorn. All right. We got the sign of Capricorn. Capricorn, what is going on, baby? It is all about you, boo. I want to give a, a shout out to all my OGs. A shout out to all my newbies. Shout out to all my babies for liking, sharing, clicking, and subscribing this video. You know, before we get into the guidance, we always want to give thanks and acknowledgement, acknowledgement to God. So, Father God, thank you so much for bringing us here for the sign of Capricorn. Please give us the inner daily guidance that Capricorn needs to receive. And thank you for all of the blessings and all of the messages that you've given us in the past, present, and future. Amen, amen, and amen. All right? All right, Capricorn, let's get into this reading and see what personal inner guidance that you would tell to yourself. What does your gut want to tell you at this current time, Capricorn? So, Capricorn, what inner guidance do you have for yourself? What inner guidance does Capricorn have? Okay, let's see. You got the gentleness and let's see under the deck we have angel therapy all right all right so i just i'm hearing that you are kind of getting a little bit in touch with your softer side you're trying to like calm the fire down in you <laughs> a little bit I don't know if you guys just feel a little bit anxious about something. I feel like this is like spirit trying to temper you right now. I'm just trying to tell you to be calm, be easy. Just, you know, be gentle with yourself at this current moment of time in your life. Hmm. What's the being gentle about? Are you being rough with yourself or something? Like, what is that about? Okay, let's see what we got. We got the Eight of Pentacles in reverse. And give me one more. And we got the Seven of Cups in reverse. Okay. Okay. So what I'm getting just off the bat here is just like... <sighs> I just feel like waste of time and confusing. And it's like a confusing moment for you because you're trying to determine if the effort and the energy that you've been putting into a situation is going to be worth the overall outcome you know are you experiencing what you really want to experience out of the situation right now um i feel like you could be hard on yourself and it's like internally it's like you want to keep on going and you want to finish the process and you want to keep doing what you're doing but for some reason I feel like you feel tired you feel unfulfilled you feel like you really having to like reach inside at this moment to figure out what it is that you really want um the seven of cups could be like when you had a whole bunch of options in front of you and the option that you selected like you might be sitting back right now like I don't know if I really got <laughs> what I barking for like this isn't really what I thought it was going to be so it's like right now you're having like this inner struggle because it's like I'm putting all this work in for nothing or I'm not being recognized I'm not shining or it's I feel like you could be like over over killing yourself you know what I'm saying it's like you're struggling to keep up with the demands of the positions or you're like I don't want to say it's like you feel like your skills are underdeveloped. It's like you have the appropriate skills, but not to apply to this. You know what I'm saying? It's like my skills is not best utilized this way. So it's just like you could have selected an opportunity where you thought that financially you were going to get this big payoff. And it's like you still 
end up broke and it's like you're still showing up to the job and like right now it's like you might not even be showing up the way that you would normally do because it's just I don't even have the motivation or energy it's like so like you're putting up with something that you wouldn't normally do or you shouldn't be doing or you should be getting paid more or you should like it should be better results out of this situation so it's like I don't know with the the gentleness and the angel therapy I just heard something about someone's just like kind of putting up with the situation instead of doing something about it it's like it's like instead of changing jobs or changing positions or going back out in the field and trying to see what else is out there it's just like you're just tirelessly working ahead you know what I'm saying so that's why the seven of cups is like don't just sit there and just drown in emotions of like what did I do <laughs> what, what, what you know what I'm saying like really search within and really because you see like this is giving like a big question mark here really search deep within and figure out what it is that you need to decide to make a change to bring the ultimate happiness to yourself you know what I'm saying and it's like God is like urging you like look like look at the end of the day how much work you putting in versus what you actually come home with is it adding up like is it are you tired when you get home are you frustrated when you wake up do you feel like you don't want to go to work? Do you feel like you don't have any energy to put into this situation no more? Like, really look at yourself and figure out how you are feeling because you're ultimately undervaluing yourself. Because people are going to give you what they want to give you. You know what I'm saying? It's about what you give to yourself. So it's just like, don't waste time and energy for something that, that is not ultimately satisfying you. Okay, so the gentleness says, be very gentle with yourself at this time. Surround yourself with gentle people, situations, and environments. Mm -hmm. It says, the angel therapy, give your cares and worries to us. Allow us to take your burdens. So... Let's see what other guidance we have here. What's your day-to-day -day guidance that you need to receive at this moment, Capricorn? Yeah, be gentle with yourself. Like, especially don't overwork yourself if it's not paying out to you what you truly deserve. Like, don't sit there and, like, the more work that you put in, the harder you work, they're not going to give you anything. It's, it's, it's not, you know what I'm saying? It's just... This is a blessing in disguise. I don't, and again, I don't want to, I hate when people talk about someone losing their job. Nobody wants to lose their job, but like, it could be, I don't want to say like a loss of income. I like, I really don't want to say that, but I feel like somebody or God may be taking you out of the situation because it's like, you deserve more. And what's under here? Be honest with yourself. And under the deck is be honest with yourself. So it's like if you lose something, if you lose something, you got to understand that it's a blessing in disguise. Look in the confirmation and be honest with yourself. Like you needed more money. You needed more personal time. This isn't something that you really wanted to do. It wasn't a situation that you were making movements in to actually change and get yourself out of. So like, you know. If something bad happens or, or, or if you, if it's a situation that you know you were devaluing yourself in and, and things like, don't be surprised because God will move you out of situations and things that you don't need to be involved in because you weren't strong enough to do it yourself. So, you know, and like this could be a warning for you. Like if you know you need more money, if you know that you're putting a lot of energy and effort into a situation and someone is shortchanging you and you know they're shortchanging you. We all got free will. Like you can step in and 
get yourself more involved in your outcome than just letting you know God to do it for you because you know sometimes when God puts his hands on things you he might not do it the way that you wanted him to do it, but that, that's what you needed him to do. Because if you wasn't doing it, then somebody needed to do it. And God going to come and shake the table. So if this is somebody where this message is a warning for, for you, this is a message from yourself to you to get up and do something. Be honest with yourself. It says, look into your heart. You will know the truth of the situation. It is safe to admit the truth to yourself, for we will support and guide you through any necessary changes. Lean upon us for courage and the strength to take care of yourself. Focus only upon your true desires. Remember, I told you the Seven of Cups was about your true desires. And they'll come to you upon angels' wings. You can read it yourself. Be honest with yourself. You know what's going on. You know you know what's going on. And regardless if you want to look at it or not, what's about to happen is it's going to be a blessing in disguise. Okay? This says, what appears to be a problem is actually a part of your answer prayers. You'll understand the reasons behind your present situation as everything resolves. Trust in heaven's protection and the in infinite wisdom to an answer. Your prayer is in the best way. Hold on. Trust in heaven's protection and infinite wisdom to answer your prayer in the best way. Mm -hmm. You got two cards. You got the three of wands in the reverse and the temperance in the reverse. So, um, like I really don't want to keep using and reading a lot of reverses, but I got to take it the way it is. Um, the three of wands is like, it's no point of waiting anymore. Like it's, um, I feel like there's a level of impatience in you, but at the same time, it's certain things that you could do to, um, make it come quicker you know, there's certain things that you could do. There's certain um, actions that you could take that can just promote the growth in certain circumstances changing around you quicker than it's likely doing right now. With that temperance card in the reverse, it's like you got to trust the process. You got to trust and believe that God is doing what's best for you. Like you can't hold on to situations. You can't hold on to things. You can't keep putting yourself in an environment with, that you truly know is not best for you. And, and just you just expecting a miracle. It, it doesn't <laughs> it doesn't work like that. Like if you want God to work with you, if you want faith to work with you, it's like you have to like put more actions towards what it is that you believe in if it's something that God wants you wants you to reduce from your life that's what I'm hearing like just want you to reduce yourself from it reduce a little bit because it's like you're putting all this work into this and it's, it should ultimately be somewhere else that is helping you meet your goals that is helping you achieve happiness that is helping you to achieve peace that is helping you to achieve balance It's something here with this temperance of, uh, in reverse. It's like, you know, hope floats, but worry sinks. And it's like, there's some type of worrisome energy about when something is coming in, when something is finally going to happen. It's like, yeah, you have been putting all this hard work in, but for what? If you're putting a whole bunch of hard work into something praying and having some level of faith that things is going to get better when it's clearly showing you it's only going to give you this you're only ever going to get this so you have to decide do you want to continue to receive this because even the eight of pentacles has to do the eight of pentacles in the reverse has something to do with like shoddy workmanship you know what i'm saying so it's like you're doing business 
with a crooked salesman and, and instead of you just going to report him to the Better Business Bureau and go and find better quality people to work with that will really um, value your time and your dollar you just keep going back to the same crooked salesman just praying that one day he's going to sell you something legit <laughs> like that's stupid because he's getting rich off of your stupidity and your faith in something that is not you do you do you get what i'm saying you get what i'm saying And I just heard it's like you keep giving your money to something that's making you sick too. Like it's making you sick. Because it's like the seven of cups in reverse is like someone to me that is overindulged and it doesn't see what it's doing to their body. Like that's that's what I'm I'm getting. It's like to their health. Um you keep paying for something that's not good for you. Mm. But anyway, Capricorn, um, what I want to tell you is it's like stop focusing your energy and waiting on something that is never going to change. It's never going to show you anything different than what it is. You can't keep praying to God, searching for answers and um, trying to have this faith and belief system on something that isn't right for you it's like you're waiting in vain and you see this person like working he's working so it's like you're putting too much work in for nothing and you're waiting for something they may that might never come like that time might have passed that ship might have sailed for that opportunity like you know what i'm saying whatever you were going to get out of that opportunity it came and gone a long time ago like don't expect anything more you know what i'm saying so it's just like pay attention to what you're working towards pay attention to what you're praying for as well you know what i'm saying because you can't turn around and be like well god isn't listening to me or i don't believe in you know praying for hope faith and dreams because everything that i want I don't get but the things that it's like you you may be putting all this work and this energy and dedication towards either don't want you or God don't want it for you. You know what I'm saying? So when you focus inwards and really figure out what it is that you really want and what's best for you and you um, go back out into the playing field and hopefully with more knowledge now you know everything that glitters ain't gold. You know, and certain things that come to you quickly or, or just like, you know, this is like someone selecting an option that got something fucked up attached to it in the background. Like, it looked nice, but you're going to have a lot of pain and suffering just for a couple of nights or a couple of months of fun you know what I'm saying and it's like it's not worth it like the 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 negative connotation that's attached to this isn't worth it isn't worth the the time and the pain and the healing that you have to go through to reinvent yourself afterwards you know what I'm saying so don't, don't put yourself to that don't put yourself to that um be gentle with yourself right now. Why God is saying be general, be gentle with yourself right now is because I feel like someone is um, working tirelessly to something that's never going to pay off. And you are exhausted. And I want you to take that time back and reinvest it in yourself. And the grass is greener on the other side. You just got to make the decision to look at what's on the other side and stop putting so much focus on here on what's here because it, it just doesn't seem like it's um in general what you really need or what you should want for yourself but anyway 
This has been your inner guidance message. We're about to get into love. So I'll see you guys in a minute. Y'all hit this like button. Let me know if this resonates. I know this is like a kind of heavy message, but some of them are going to be heavy messages because it's like us talking to ourselves. Like what we really need to know to check ourselves. You know what I'm saying? So, um, yeah. Y'all let me know if this resonates. Y'all hit that like button. Thanks for the love. Peace. I'll see y'all in the love portion.